several years ago, I had been traveling in India, and we, we crossed, we were in India, and we crossed the border and from west, from India, crossed the border in western Nepal, and we made our way back to our home, to our house in Chitwan, which is in central south Nepal. Well, we got to Chitwan, and after a couple of days traveling from India, from the Nepal border to Chitwan, got there, and I started to not feel so good. I started, uh, we went to bed that night. I was tired, exhausted. Well, we just spent all day on the motorcycle traveling. So I thought, well, I'm just tired because of this, because of traveling and, and my body hurts, my body aches. So I went to bed. But the next morning and all that night, I had a fever, intense fever, intense pain throughout my body. My whole body ached and hurt. And I knew something was wrong. Well, the next morning I was a little bit delirious and I had a fever and I wasn't sure what was going on. And, the, and my roommate, Clinton Weaver, I said, I told him, I said, hey, I, I'm sick. I can't do anything. Let's, let's take a day of rest. Maybe tomorrow I will feel better. So I slept all that day and, and slept all that night and rested and, and what restless sleep it was. But in the next morning I woke up and, and I still had a, an intense high fever. And I told Clinton, I said, hey, something is clearly wrong. And I was going on my phone trying to Google what is my problem. And I said, well, either it's, it's, it's typhus, typhoid, dengue. And there's a whole bunch of symptoms that, that I was having. But I said, I don't want to. And at this point, I was flying back to America in a couple days. And so I, w I did not want to have one of these diseases or else I will not be able to fly back to America. Well, the second or third day, I started to develop a rash all over my body, and it was hot. It was May. I'm sorry, it was May or June. So it was very hot where we were, maybe over 100, 120 degrees, and it was just miserable. Well, I was there resting one day, and, and uh, I woke up, and I said, Clinton, hey, Clinton, you got to go to the doctor and get me some medicine. I need some medicine to try to bring my fever down. If I don't get my fever down, I, I'm going to have some serious problems. So I got some, Googled some stuff and contacted some doctor friends in America, got, got a, uh, uh, the pills that I should take to bring my fever down and said, Clinton, go get, please go get me these pills. So Clinton left and he went to the doctor office. He went to the pharmacy to go get, go get me these pills. And I dozed to get off to sleep again. And I was there sleeping and I woke up. And when I woke up from my sleep, I was delirious. <laughs> I never, never experienced anything like this before, but somehow when I dozed off to sleep, I had laid down on my hand, so my hand was underneath me, and when I woke up, all the circulation had, had, had left my hand. So it felt like my hand was dead, like there was nothing there. Well, I woke up and, and, and I couldn't, I lifted up my hand and tried to scratch my face or something. I couldn't feel anything, I couldn't move my fingers, my hand was dead. And I started to get very, I was delirious, so I got very angry. I said, while I was sleeping, somebody came in here and they cut my hand off. I was angry. I said, who would do that to me? I'm sick, I'm a sick person, but someone came and chopped my hand off. And I was very angry. I said, who would do that? And I got up and I walked around and I was discouraged. I said, God, why would you let somebody come in here and chop my hand off? And, and meanwhile, I looked at my hand, my hand was there, but for some reason I was delirious and I thought clearly someone had cut my hand off. And I was angry, but I was also tired and I soon got worn out after being so angry and soon got worn out and I, and I laid down again and, and uh, went to sleep and, and restful sleep and soon woke up a little bit while later and the feeling had come back to my hands and got my hand up and lifted it up and moved my fingers and oh, Oh, I got my hand back. You know, that dengue fever, it lasted about five days. And on that fifth day, I drove back up into Kathmandu because the next day flying back to the U.S. And in those five days, I lost 25 pounds of weight from being sick. And then on the, uh, on, after my fever broke, the next day flying back to the U.S., but at this time my body was very weak. I could not even lift my, my own suitcases. And we got to the, uh, the flying Guitar Airways. I was flying Guitar Airways back, got there to Guitar Airways and went to check in. And uh, when we got there, I knew the check-in person behind the counter. And while I was there, just talking to him and just randomly said something about, oh, uh, you know, a free upgrade would be nice. And I'm trying to look like I'm not sick or haven't been sick for the last five days. And yeah, I'm a healthy person. 
But then I got my ticket, went to my went to the gate, and I'm there waiting for the aircraft. And I'm just so tired. I just want to get on the airplane and sleep. But I knew I had a connecting flight in Doha, and it was only an hour and a half connecting. And, and the flight was getting delayed and I knew I was not going to make my connection and I was concerned because I did not want to spend the night in Doha. Not in the shape I was in. Well, we went to board and the flight finally came after it being delayed so long and went to board and right at the boarding gate, the, the check-in person at the boarding gate that takes your ticket took my ticket and said, oh, oh, here, you have a new ticket, sir. And she went and she gave me a new ticket and it was a business class ticket. A1. Wow, this is the first time that I flew Qatar Airways business class and I got A1. So I got on the airplane and, and on, on business class you could lay your seat down and make it a 180 degree bed. And you know, I didn't enjoy that flight with, the, uh, with all the um, comforts and the frills and the food and the coffee of, of business class. But I enjoyed that flight and I slept almost the whole flight. But because I was sitting in business class, I was sitting in A1, which meant I was the first person off the airplane. Not only that, but my luggage was the first off the airplane. And if I wouldn't have been the first off the airplane or if my luggage would have been delayed, I would have missed my connecting flight back to the US. You know, even in all that, in all those sicknesses, God was still taking care of me. And brothers and sisters, God loves you. You know, the world has many trials and tribulations in it, and it'll bring it, make us very discouraged and bring us lots of heartache. But brothers and sisters, God loves you, and He is ready to show His love to you. Trust God even in the midst of difficulty. God bless.